Hello, so in this tutorial I will be teaching you how to make this. This is kind of a unique style that I came up with and we are calling it the urchin cuff just because it has the same structure as the shells. And so I use fishing line to make the ladder. This is the fishing line that I used. If you plan on watching more of my tutorials in the future, I use fishing line quite a bit. And so you can't use elastic cord for this part just because, well, you could try maybe a thinner elastic cord, but the cord is too thick and it's a little difficult to weave back and forth. And so people use this kind of like yarn. It's not paracord, but it's thinner. And I see a lot of people use that, but you could experiment with different strings. I really like fishing line because it's durable it's thin and it's inexpensive and I just go through it a lot. So yeah, I will post another video if you want like a full tutorial from the start to finish on how to make this. But in this tutorial, I will just be teaching you how to add ladders onto a cup. So yeah, hopefully you liked the video. This is the cup that I made prior to making this tutorial. It's a 2x base, and then I built two layers on top of it. You could do this ladder style on any size cuff, but this tutorial is structured around this size. And then I did alternating colors for the initial bracelet. I did blue, orange, blue, orange, just because I'm doing solid colors for my ladder. So I've already cut out a string here for us to use. I also already made one ladder going around the cuff. As you can see, the fishing line is there. And so I will be doing another one right here. So take the two ends of your fishing line, make sure the rest of the string is straight. And so we get our two, two ends. It's gonna be hard to see because it's thin and clear. So I laid out 20 of the outside color and then 18 of the inside color. We're gonna take two of the outside color and put one on each end of our string. And then put the ends together and get two of our inside color. And then we're gonna put both ends inside of this of the bead and then do the same thing to the other bead now we're going to separate the two ends and put one bead on each end like that now Hold on to one end with it being short enough to tie a knot because we want one end to be long to continue building. So with it, I'm holding on to both ends, but I'm only pulling one and this will tighten the beads that we just placed. And it should come out to this formation. So now we're going to tie it off just by making a loop and putting the string under. Make sure the formation is there on the first knot. And then pull tight, make a couple more knots. And then cut the short end. So we have this and we have this. I don't know what happened here. There's like a little loop. Maybe I didn't look at it correctly. So now yours should look like this with the string going that way. 
we want to string it in to one of these beads. It doesn't matter which one, but for me, it looks like it wants to go this way. So I'm going to go in the direction of the string and go through this black bead. I'm going to take my end of the string and go through that black bead and pull all the way through. This will make our string going out toward the opposite side. Now we're gonna attach it to the cuff. So with the end of our string, I'm gonna go through these two colored beads because this is the color that I'm working on and I'm gonna attach it right here. So my string is going out here. I go through these two beads and I go, then I string the string through the opposite side. Make sure you're not making a knot and going through a loop. So I pull, I'm pulling the string and it should just attach like that. So now the string is going outside of this black. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna string it above. I'm gonna string it through this black, add two more orange and go through the opposite side. And go through here. Add two of the inside color and go out the opposite side and pull. Now we're going to add two black or the two outside color right here. So I'm going to put one black onto my string and go through the two beads we just added. And pull. So this one is a little different. We're gonna add another black onto our string or outside color, whatever color you are doing. Put one outside color right here. I'm gonna go through this black. I'm gonna go through these two beads and then out of this black. It's important that you're going outside of this bottom one because we're gonna loop back around to this one. So I'll show that right now. I'm going to add one bead onto my string. Go through this bottom black. I'm going to go through these two middle ones. And then go through this black one. And pull. So we just added these two and then our string is going out of this bead and we're gonna loop back around to this one and add two more. And it's pretty much those two steps as we build forward to the other side. We're gonna add two, two middle color, then two outside. Two inner, two out. I'm gonna show it those two steps again in case these two weren't clear, and then I'll speed up the video. So my string is left over going outside of this black. I'm gonna beat it through this top black, add two middle color, and go out the opposite side. And pull. So the next step is to add two black right here. So I'm gonna put one black onto my string, go through the two beads we just added. And then to make things e easier, I'm gonna add another black to my string now and just go through 
those beads that I need to, and then pull the string after afterwards. So I go through, I went through this one, I'm gonna go through these two, and I'm gonna go through this one right here. And now I'm gonna pull my string. Pull it tight to keep the form, and there we go. Here, I'm gonna show it one more time because I know this is this is different. So my string right now is going outside of this black. I'm gonna string it back to the top, add to middle color, go out this beat. Go through that one, add to the beads. Go out the opposite side and pull. Now I'm going to add two outside color. I'm going to put one onto my string. Go through the two beads we just added. Add one more outside color. Go through the, the one below. Go through the two middle ones. And go out this one. And... Just like that. Keep doing that until we reach the other side. All right, so I'm at the last set of beads. It's the same step going on. Go to the middle section. And then I will, after this, I will show you how to attach it to the other side. So those were the last two beads of this section. And after I place them, my string is going out here. I still want it to go to the inside of this. So I'm gonna string it through this outside bead. Pull. And now I'm gonna string through these two beads on the other side. And then I will go through this bead and you can tie it off here. I, I go through these two, I go through this one, and then I loop back around to this side. It just makes it more tighter, and then it's easier to tie it if you do that. Because if you, if you just go through these two beads and tie it off here, it's a little loose because you're trying to pull on it at the same time as tying it off. I'll show you. So go through the opposite side and go through this one and pull. So my string was right here. I went through these two and then I went out this one and I pull and it attaches it to the other side like that. So you can tie it off right here go through there, make a loop, tie it off. But I go through this one, go to the other side and tie it off. It's a little easier. I'm gonna go through, and this one doesn't really matter where, which ones you're going through, you just need to get to the other side. So 
So my strings right here, I'm gonna tie it to right here, just by making a loop. And then putting the end through, through the loop. And then do it again, do it a couple times. And that should be good. Cut that extra. And we added one more. So I'm gonna show one more step-by-step, step, just in case this one was confusing. So I'm going to show another part on how to do this. I'm going to use a different color than what I've been using. It's kind of hard to see black on black. It's kind of, kind of blends in. So I'm going to use gray so it stands out more. And I'm going to do it over here away from, from these. I'm going to cut this afterward, but this is just to demonstrate what we're doing. So I, I cut an arm length um, worth of fishing line. I get the two ends and I make sure the end is straight. I put two of the outside color onto each end like that. Then I put the two fishing line ends together and I put two inside colors. I put both ends through each of the inside color like that. Both ends are going through the inside bead. And I separate the ends again, and I put an outside color on each end, like that. Now, I hold on to both strings like this and leave this much uh, coming out, and then I only, pe I only pull one end. I want all the beads to get pulled to this short end, and I have then I have a long string to work with. So once I pull the strings out, I should get a formation like this. And then I tie these ends together. On the first knot, make sure the formation is there because if the first knot is what matters, really tight, then do another knot and a couple more to make sure it doesn't come undone. Once you've tied it off, cut the short end. So this is what mine looks like. My string is coming out this way and I have to get it through one of these. So my string is leaning toward this way. I'm gonna pull my string through this bead. And then pull. So now my string is going toward the opposite end going on the inside and now we're gonna string through these beads to attach this to the cuff so my string is coming out of this bead to the inside I take my end and pull it through the section that I want to work on so for me I want to work here because I'm working with blue and I want to attach it here so I pull my, put my string through these two beads and then I put my end 
through the opposite opposite bead across from where my string is coming out of. I pull, make sure nothing is knotting up. And so my string is coming out here, going through these two and then out this one. And pull and attach. Hold tight to keep the form. And that's what it should look like. Yeah, this one's gonna be much easier to see. So now my string is coming out up here. I wanna loop it back to this one. I go through this one, add two beads and go out this one. So I take my end, I'm going through this bead. I add two inside colors and then I go through the bead across from across the way. And then I pull. And that's how I attach. So now I want to attach two more outside colors. For this side, it's a little bit easier. We're gonna add one outside color to our string and go through the two beads we just added. So I have my end, I put an outside bead on and go through the middle and pull. Like that. So now for this side, it's a little different. I'm gonna put one outside color on my string and go through this bead, go through these two, and go out this one. So here's my end, put a bead on, go through this one. I went through this one, I'm gonna go through these two. And then I'm gonna go through this one. And then pull. What the heck? There we go. And so we just added these two. And now we're just gonna go back and forth from those two steps, add two more middle, then add two more outside, add two more middle. So my string is coming out here. I'm gonna loop it back through this one, add two more and go through the opposite side. I went through that one, add two inside color and go through the other side and then pull. like that. So now I'm gonna add two outside color. My string is coming out this one. I'm gonna put one outside color onto my string, go through the two that I just added. Now it's easier for me to add both beads right now. So I went through the two middle, I'm gonna add one more outside color for this side. I'm gonna go through this outside bead I'm gonna go through these two inside beads. And then go through this outside bead. Make sure, because we're adding another bead, we have to go through the bottom bead that we're adding. So it's this bead. I'll go through this one and then pull my string. like that. We just added these two. Now it's, a, it's important that we go out this bead, the one below the one we just added, because we got to loop back around and do the same thing. So hopefully this shows it a lot better than my first attempt. It's a lot easier to see with these gray on top of this black. So now I'm going to super speed the video and show you how I attach it to the other side.
So I'm at the last set of beads. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. And after this, I'll show you how to attach it to the other side. Hopefully I explained everything well enough for you to create this. So I just placed my last two beads on. And now my string is coming out of this bead. I still want it to go to the inside, so I'm gonna beat it through this bead. So now my string is coming toward the inside on this bead, just like how we've been doing. But now, instead of adding two more beads, we're gonna string it through these two beads, the ones directly across. And that's how we attach it to the other side. So I take my string, I string it through here, and then I string it through the opposite bead, this one. And then we pull our string and it attaches to the other side. Like that. So now you can just tie it off here, or I like to tie it off on this side. I beat it through here, but you could you do it however you'd like. So here is the finished cup. There's one last thing I wanna show you guys and it has to do with this gap here. I fixed a couple of them around here and it's when you initially tie this onto the cuff. Sometimes the string gets loose and you will end up with these gaps here. This side, you can see there's no gaps. Each each one's pretty, pretty tight and I like to, I like things to be perfect, so I I don't really like that gap. And so I'm gonna show you guys how to fix this. You take a string and you fish it to through these two black, each end. And then you go through these two blue, and then you go through these two black, and then you tie it off at the end and it'll shorten the gap. I'll show you really quick. So I already cut my string. I'm gonna take both of the ends and the other end is just a loop. I probably cut too much fishing line, but I always, I always cut too much fishing line. Put one end through the black and the other one through the bottom one. So if I could show you guys, I put one end, one end of the string through this one and the other one through this one. And then I'm gonna continue the top string. I'm gonna put through these two black or <laughs> these through these two blue and then the bottom one, I'm gonna go through these two. And then I'm gonna go through the same thing on the other side. So the top one, go through the top blue. And the top black. I take the bottom string and go through the bottom blue and the bottom black and then pull. So that loop and is right here. So when you pull, it pulls the whole thing and then we're gonna tie this and it will get rid of that gap. And so the reason why I add too much or I cut so much extra fishing line and so I could tie so much easier. So I just do like three square knots. And yeah, that's it. Now the gap's gone. The gap was right here. And so now I just cut the excess string and that's it. That is it for this tutorial. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram on finish projects that you've created so I get to see them. Hopefully the tutorial wasn't too confusing. I should have done a different color other than 
black on black. It's hard to see, but the finished product looks pretty cool. So yeah, let me know in the comments if it was too confusing. I could redo it. Or let me know anything else in the comments. If there's a different style that you would like me to show you some or something that you've seen or just anything to help me out. Uh, I'm still relatively new to all of this. So yeah, thank you for watching.